Hello, my name is Laura, and in this video, I'm going to be showing how to crochet this mini pop. So, for this tutorial, we're going to be needing some yarn. So, I'm using some white yarn for the cup, some yellow for the straw, and we're also going to be needing some scissors, a crochet hook, and a yarn needle. So, first, we're going to start off with making the cup. So, I'm just grabbing my white yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot. Next, we're just going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. We're just going to slip stitch in the very first chain that we did. So this is the first one. We're just going to go in there and do a slip stitch. And next, we're just going to find that hole, that middle hole. Just make sure you don't go into any of your stitches, but just the hole in the middle of the four chains. We're just gonna go in there, and we're going to be doing six single crochets. So, that's one, two, three, so you're just wrapping these single crochets around the four chains that you did. Four, five, and then six. So once we got the six single crochets, we're just gonna work back in them. Starting with the very first one we did, which is this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, this is the first one. But instead of going under both loops like this, like normal, we're just going to be going into the back loop. So here's the front loop, and then this one's the back loop. So we're just going to do a single crochet in just the back loop of the very first single crochet that we did. Then we're going to go to the second one we did and also just go into the back loop and do a single crochet. So we're going to do one single crochet in the back loop of each of these six single crochets that we already did. So this is the third one. And then the last one, just the back loop only. So once you're done that round of doing one single crochet in each back loop of the six single crochets, we're just going to pop this out just so it's easier to work in. So it looks like that. And then we're just going to be doing five rounds of one single crochet in each of the six stitches around. So I'm just going to do the first round here. So we're just going to go into the very first stitch and doing one single crochet like normal. This time we're not going in the back loop or anything. We're just going under the two loops as normal and doing one single crochet. So the next stitch, one single crochet, and then the third stitch, one single crochet, so then the fourth stitch, one single crochet, and then one single crochet in the fifth stitch, So then one single crochet in the last stitch of this round. So we're keeping our stitch count of six stitches around. So then we're just going to repeat that four more times. So we will have done that five times in total, five rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around. 
keeping a stitch count of six stitches. And then we'll just do the four rounds and then I'll come back. Hi, so I'm back and I just did four more rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around, equaling five rounds of that in total. And now we're doing the last round of the cup, which it's gonna be a little more tricky than the rest of this tutorial. So basically for this last round, we're gonna be doing two single crochets in each stitch around, except we're going to be going at the side of the stitch. So for example, for this very next stitch, here's the two loops like normal. But instead of doing that, we're going under the two loops and we're going around the stitch itself, like this. And we're just going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to be doing another single crochet, where you in that same stitch at the side. So there's two single crochets just around that little post. And then we're just going to be doing that for each of the six around. So for the next stitch, we're just going to be finding the side of the stitch like this. And we're going to be doing single crochet. And another single crochet in that stitch. Then we're going to be doing the third crochet and doing two single crochets in there. So one and two. And then here's the fourth stitch at the side. One single crochet. And then two single crochets around that stitch. Here's the fifth crochet we're going around. Could do one single crochet in there. And then two single crochets in there. And then we have our last stitch for six crochet that we're going to go around. And we're just going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to do two single crochets. And that's our very last stitch in this round. And then we're going to finish it off by doing a slip stitch in the very first single crochet that we did in this round. And just do a slip stitch like that. So we're going to car yarn and then pull it up and then we can just move on to our straw. So now I'm just going to move on to our mini crocheted straw. In this case I'm using yellow and I'm just going to start off with a slip knot and 13 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and twelve. And 13. So now once you're done 13 stitches, you're just going to do a slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook. So this is our first stitch right here, and then this is our second one. So we're just going to do a slip stitch in there. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in the very next two stitches. So we'll have done three slip stitches at the beginning of this. So that's the second one. And then in our third stitch here, third slip stitch. And then now we're going to move on to the next stitch, <clears throat> which
which we're going to do three slip stitches in this one stitch. So one, two, and the same stitch. And then in the same stitch again, third one. So that's three slip stitches in the, the fourth stitch that we've worked into along these chains. And that just kind of creates a curve in a straw. So once we're done the three slip stitches in that stitch, we're just gonna be doing one slip stitch in each stitch around. There should be eight stitches left. So yeah, we're just gonna do a slip stitch in the next stitch. So one, slip stitch in the next one. And yeah, just one slip stitch in the rest. So you get to that. And then one slip stitch in the very last stitch. And then we're done our straw almost. All we need to do left is just cut our yarn. And then we're just gonna pull up the yarn. So once we have our two pieces made, we're just going to be putting them together. So first I'm just going to get rid of this tail end just by sewing it in. So once we sewed in that last tail end, we're just going to put our pieces together. How we're going to do that is we're just going to, going to grab our straw and just put these tail ends into our yarn needle. We're just going to put our needle into the center of our cup, just try to find the center there, and then we're just going to pull through until we get to the end. We're just going to pull it through. So once we pull it through and we think we have it in a good spot, we're just going to push these talons inside and you can do that by again just putting tails ends inside your yarn hook and then just going back in the other way. So yeah, once we've gotten rid of that tail end of the straw, we're completely done our mini pop. So now we have two of them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.